Hey guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Excess Heroes, it's time to use our beloved Fed Core shell because the Gemini Stone here is finally available and now we are going to use our shell in the battle. So let's see how she is going to do against the other opponents out there and as it is a tag match week, I'm not actually gonna do the tag matches, I'm just gonna do the solo, you know, like one versus one battles, alright? So let's get this started. Friendly match right over there. There's actually gonna be like Fate Core Dorka, uh, Dorka, right? So, well, let's see if I can actually put some pressure on the opponent. But if the opponent is a well team, I definitely will suffer a lot. But there seems to be no Fate Core Deva. That means this team is actually not a well. <laughs> That's how you find out or separate if a team is well or not. Oh my god, that was really bad. I missed my Fate Core Annie. Oh shit. Oh my god. I really hate that. I really hate that. Okay, so there we go. Anyways, that's what it is. And I think what? She has signature force? No, no, not really. Not really. And there's no tranquil mark effect anymore on me. All right. And let's try to provide the summer blessing to the opponent team right over there, just like that. And it's time to provide extra turn for whom? For battery, indeed. Why not? Right? For battery. <laughs> I feel like it's time for her to do that AoE damage, alright? So let's do it. Let's try to charge in the opponents with some really insane attack. Boom, just like that. Uh-huh. Like that. Ah, oh, shit. My bathroom nearly died. And I think it's time to take her off the Fate Corridor right over there unless she dodges, okay? Don't dodge! Okay, she did not dodge. <laughs> alright, that's, that's pretty good. I like it. And my battery really died just right now. I don't know why, but it's time to actually go through with Jinai and try to put some pressure on the opponents right over there with the signature force that I have with Jinai. All right, so there we go. Uh-huh. And come on. Yes, there we go. The fan attack. And <laughs> Fate Grand is dead. I really love this, you know, fan attack thing. Okay, so now it's time to put some more pressure on the opponents out there, guys. All right, so there we go. Come on. Come on, work it out. Real nice. <gasps> Shit. Ow, oh, I hate this. 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 Please don't kill my team. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not good. Okay. Come on, die, bitch. Oh, yes. That bitch is dead. Thanks to Fedco Shell. All right. This was a really good battle, wasn't it? <laughs> Man. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty happy with that one. So let's try to fight against. Uh, this unit right over here, but I think I'm definitely gonna be charged down really fast, okay? It's gonna be a really sad and disappointing battle because it seems that like that's gonna be a um, You know like a whale team and this seems to be a little bit distant, okay? Why not? Let's go with this one, okay? Friendly game. It will actually be um, you know, Like like a head-on between my Jinai and the opponent Jinai because like if the attack stat of my Jinai is higher I will be having the advantage against the opponent because like opponent is gonna have lower speed compared to mine but it seems <gasps> yes i knew it i knew it okay so that's awesome and let's try to you know like take care of that uh rara right away that would be real good come on yes that's awesome thanks to the signature force and the bite mark effect i was really able to take care of that uh shitty thing called triangle mark effect from the rara and that's pretty good enough okay so let's try to take care of any kind of summer blessing out there all right, that is it. And Fred Shell is the one who is going to provide that thing called, what do you call that? Extra turn plus three mana to my Fred Core battery later on. If she survives, okay? If she survives, if she's dead, things are not gonna go as planned. And I would not really love that, okay? So, well, that is it. Oh my God, they are really trying to get rid of my Gina. I don't know why, please don't do that. Shitty heads. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, it's time to provide plus three mana and extra turn to my Fate Core battery because there is no summer blessing anymore to the opponents. And it's time, it's time to unleash the rat of Poseidon, the Leviathan, and blah blah blah, and what's or not. All right, so there we go. The opponent has kneeled down to their knees. <laughs> all right, boom, come on. Oh my god, that opponent is still alive. Okay, that duckling is gonna be the sitting duck for me, all right? And there we go, and that's how that unit is dead, all right? So that's how it is, man. That's how it is. Boom, pretty easy. Pretty easy, guys. Okay, so let's exit it, and let's try to move on to the next battle. Ah, oh, I'm pretty much loving it, guys. Okay, this thing right over here. Okay, let's go with it. Friendly game. Why not? Let's do it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm pretty much loving my team, guys. Uh, 
if my Fate Regina has higher attack stats than compared to the opponent, and especially like if my shield actually just managed to get even a single turn, that would be it, all right? But it seems that like the opponent has better attack stats. Oh shit, 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 shit. My Fate Corridor nearly got knocked out, but she still has that Tranquil Mark effect, so I'm pretty happy about that one. So it's time to actually go on against that Fate Corridor right over there as well. Let's do it. Ah, oh, shit. That is so sad. That is really sad. <laughs> My Fate Corridor is dead. Oh, man. What the hell? Oh, shit, man. Shit. I hate this. I hate this battle. I, I'm already starting to hate this battle. This is not really do, going really good. Oh my god. Okay, let's just let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. Maybe I might actually be able to table turn the tables around. But man, without any, without Fate Crucial, well, like, oh man, should I be really continuing with this video? Shit. Oh man. Okay. My 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 <laughs> my Gina is dead, and there's a poison effect on the opponents. Oh man. If only Shell could have actually managed to put that. Uh, you know, like first active skill against the opponents, that would have been much better. <sighs> I feel so sad again about my team, man. My team is actually like, what? Can you see at the opponent team? The opponent has only that fate core rare alive, meaning like my poison really did that kind of damage. I would say this battle was not really that bad. That battle was not really that bad. Think about it. <laughs> Only Fate Carrera was standing in the opponent team. So Poison is actually really good in the, you know, uh, what do you call this? In the PvP contents, if you have to look it that way, all right? So let's try to fight against this particular unit right over here. Why not? Let's do it. Okay. There we go. Oh, man. And at the end, I would really love to fight against the Fate Core Deva, all right? So to, just to see, just to try out. Okay, so right over here, let's try to, you know, like, try to nuke that Fate Corridor right over there. Boom, just like that. That would be nice. Okay, I got that rat damage. Okay, what's that Fate Corridor is gonna trick? Okay, my Fate Corridor is still alive. And, wow. Oh my god, I hate that Fate Corridor, Adam. I hate that. Da, da, da. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm actually gonna provide the next turn. And there's a bite mark effect, so uh, definitely it would be a wise decision to provide the extra turn to my Fate Corridor because he will be able to deal more damage thanks to the higher amount of mana that the opponent has on them. Alright, especially that stupid, stupid Fate Core. Uh, uh, Jin, right? Jin, yes, yeah, Fate Core Jin. Sorry, I, I, I think I called him Fate Core Adams uh, before, uh, 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 a while ago. <laughs> it's Fate Core Jin. Okay, so there we go. Okay, Jin, take it. Take that, sucker. Take that. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So that was thanks to Fate Crucial. I actually managed to get another turn and yet uh, another victory right over there. Although I had a little bit of like problem with the last one. But anyways, now let's go with uh, the battle against the Fate Cordeva. Will I be able to, you know, what do you call this? Suppress the opponent? or not. We will be able to see in this battle right away. So as there is no Fate Core Genii, that means there is no way that uh, the opponent can actually suppress me. Yay! Who is she going to target? Okay, my shell. What the hell? All right, all right, all right. And it's time to actually take care of the Deva because she might actually be a little bit of a problem later on. And if she is actually going to die, then come on! Okay, there we go. Okay, she has no mana at all. Nice, that's awesome. Uh, no. Uh, can I actually summer blessing? There's is there summer blessing? I think there is summer blessing. Okay, so let's just go in the summer blessing for now. All right, so that is it. Boom, and Deva should have been dead, but now that she's not dead, all right, it's time to provide an extra turn for our fate Carrera because of the extra mana build up that the opponent already has managed to get. So it's time to actually go and do some little damage right over there. Let's actually enjoy the mayhem that the opponent is actually gonna feel it. <laughs> Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? All right, so that is it. That's what I'm really talking about. All right, now it's time to actually deal some. I mean, like, do like one last battle. 
And then after that one, I think we will be done. Uh, is it gonna be a good team right over there? And I think it's pretty good. I'm like, it's pretty much a meta team. Okay, so let's go against this team, guys. Let's go against team against this team. Like, who is gonna be like faster? Is it gonna be my team or is it gonna be the opponent team? Okay, we will actually decide. All right. So here, and the opponent actually went goes first. <gasps> Shit. Oh, my Rena! Oh, my God! That is not good. That is really, really not good. That's really not good. That's really not good. I'm already starting to hate this battle. <laughs> my Rena is already one shot. Oh, man. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, no problem. Thanks. Thanks to that. Like, uh, uh, the first guards and stuff is actually gonna pick up. All right, that's good. And uh, I'm actually going to, you know, like, get rid of that Summer Blessing. That would be much better. Okay, thank you. Oh, my battery is dead. Super again, come on. <laughs> this is not what I've been thinking. Do I have any choice? I mean, like, why not? Like, let's just go with shell, okay? This time, I'm not actually gonna provide that extra stuff. I'm just gonna go with shell and just ban those, you know, like, how to say this, uh, this, those, those first cards and, like, barriers whatsoever. And my shell is dead, okay? So let's see if her sacrifice is actually gonna be any uh, use to me. So this time, I'm actually going to, um, mm -mm. I'm going to target the, fa the, the Rera, all right? Let's do it. Don't dodge it. Yes, he's dead. That's good. 9,800 uh, dark damage. Did you see that? Thanks to the Fate Coach Shufra again. Uh, you know, like, uh, signature force. All right. And it's time to deal some heavy damage to the single target. Because I really don't have any uh, tranquil effect. So, you know, bite effect. Screw that. <gasps> Shit. The Dorka is actually keeping her team alive. Is my Jinai dead? Oh my god, my Jinai is dead! And oh man, I might actually still lose this battle. <sighs> Shit! This is bad. This is bad. And I think my Fate Core mm, uh, Iris is not gonna dodge that one, and she's dead. And I'm dead. I'm dead. Pretty dead. Oh shit! Okay, one last battle. One last battle. Okay, one last battle against other units. Why am I taken down right over there? Oh my god, I hate this game sometimes. You know, like. Okay, let's just fight against this Papa Glenn. Is there Papa Glenn right over here? Okay, Jina is there. And I think... I don't, don't think that's going to be a really big challenge. Let's try to fight against this team. I don't think this is going to be another challenge as well, okay? This thing right over here... Um, I think that's going to be a challenge. But I think I want better. I want some hard team, okay? Uh, okay, there is Fate Cotantalo. Okay, that's that's pretty good team. Okay, let's see like how my team is actually going to do against Fate Cotantalo. And that's going to be that, all right? The, the, the last stuff. The last stitch of ladies and gentlemen, really. The last thing that I'm going to do today in the PvP battles. Okay, so let's do this. All right, who's going to go first? Oh, my God. It's going to be the Fate Corrida of the opponent team. Oh, my God. And my Iris is dead. Is my, is my Fate Corrida dead? She is still alive. That bitch is still alive. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to cast this skill on the Fate Corrida. And right over there. And she's dead. Come on. What happened to the signature force? Did it not actually trigger? Did that shit really did not trigger? Alright, let's try to use this AOA attack. No problem at all, because like there's gonna be summer blessing uh, on the opponent. It's time to provide extra turn to my bath 3, I guess. Should I be providing it to bath 3 or Rera? I think Rera would be fine. Rera would be better. Rera would be better. Well, let's do it. Because of the piercing damage plus uh, the bite mark effect. But there's no mana on the opponents, guys. That's what it's really pissing me off. Our, you know, like, the Fate Core shell is just too fast. <laughs> See, it's not allowing the opponent to, you know, like, uh, build up those mana. Okay, let's just provide some mana to our team. That would be much better. Okay, that's gonna provide me some a blessing. Thanks to Fate Core Iris. Okay, and my Iris is dead. Sacrificing her life. And this time, it's time to use the ultimate skill of Fate Core Genai, the Wife Feet Genai. Okay, there we go. And the poison is actually going to take the toll one after another. Okay, so that's going to be it. Uh-huh, nice, thanks. The fan attack actually made its impact. Whoa, Fate Core Tantal, ladies and gentlemen. Fate Core Tantal, I thought he actually nearly killed me. I thought he nearly killed me. <laughs> Oh man! Alright! I thought 
that it nearly killed me. But anyways, that 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 bitch is dead. All right. So well, I'm pretty happy with whatever is happening so far. I would definitely love to try my Fateco shell in more and more and more in battles. What do you guys have? Opi like, what kind of opinions do you have about the Fateco shell? Is she really that amazing or not? Um, like, is she really that hype or not? According to your own personal perception, or let's say for, uh, from your own personal experience, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Because in my opinion, Fateco shell is a bomb. All right. If you have a really good team, then well, Fateco shell is gonna provide a really good support to your good team, and with that one, definitely you will have much advantage against your opponents. I'm like, with her around, you have that option. Okay. I mean, like, you can provide that extra turn to Fateco battery, or maybe Fateco or maybe someone else who can actually keep on providing a lot of DPS or maybe to the support for a revive or whatever you may call it all right I mean like with her around you have just too much flexibility in the team and that's what I really love about her anyways that's that guys that is it for today I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the comments on my channel see you guys in the next video